Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'd like to say a big thank you to all the subscribers that's subscribed to our channel. And if you haven't, press subscribe and enable notifications. Today I'm going to service my 1.3 turbo diesel course up. We're going to have a general look over, drain the oil and filter, look at the other filters as well. There will be a lot of cut-ins and outs, so bear with us. And also, thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed the video for your future reference and many saving tips. Also, I'd like to say, Aldi do sell quality tools. Just bought this half inch, no I wouldn't say half inch, sorry, uh, this impact driver. You put your bits into it, I'll talk about this on another video. What I'm going to do is going to take the air filter off and check it and um, there are going to be a lot of cut-ins as well so please bear with us. I'm just going to take the air filter off uh, with these one, two, three, four screws. I'm just going to check the condition of the air filter and give it a good dust out and also on these diesel coarser engines there, oil filters down there, and for easy access, just pull that pipe back, 7mm, 7mm, and just pull it out of the way. And also, we're just going to run you through how to do your general yearly checks as well. And also, check the brake fluid, just for colour, and that looks perfect. Well, check the coolant. Topped it up with screen wash the other day. Battery's perfect. Just general checks and it all looks okay. Mind you, it is a 64 plate as well. As you can see, the air filter is a bit black. It obviously, it does need a new one, which I'm going to get ordered up. Just to let you know, if you're servicing one of these and you want to get the air box off, they are T25 Torx bits. And they're easy to get off as well. Alright guys, what I'm doing now is I'm checking for play, checking for redness on the roughness on the wheel bearing, checking for drop link. I'm not gonna take the wheels off for the condition of the brakes I've, as I've just changed them recently. So what I'm checking for is snap springs, leaking shocks, split rubbers, anything like that, then Obviously, I'm not going to show you all the wheels. All I'm going to do is show you this wheel because you don't want to see all four wheels. I've just checked underneath and that looks sound. The only thing I could see on my service is slightly shoulder wear on a tyre. And that may well be due to misalignment. So what I'm going to do is going to get this aligned at some point. As you can see, quite dirty, but there's no signs of breakages under it as well. No signs of split CV boots, drop link rubbers, all that. So what I'm going to do now is check for the back springs, for including the back tyres, everything like that. See if there's any signs of leakages from the brake pipes, brake cylinders, anything like that. Then obviously I'll cut back in and let you know and sh show you my bits. Good news guys, um, there's no signs of breakages or springs, leaking shock absorbers, anything like that. It's all sound under it, apart from the knee side rear tyre, it's perished. So we'll have to get that replaced soon as well. And obviously check the exhaust, and that's sound as well. Then um, we cut back in when we do drop the oils, and finish our final checks on the oil filter housing it's actually a 32 mil and mil socket you want an elbow on it just to avoid this and also what I would advise you to do is under here to stick some tissue down so so there's any excess oil coming out from the oil filter housing next thing we do is drop the oil just to let you know, the new filters on the housing. Just forgot to say beforehand, always change your oil filter housing seal. 
just for the simple fact for peace of mind and it's just so easy to change I don't know if you can see people but the oil is draining out it's black like coal just to let you know the sump plug on these are a T45 please don't over tighten them or else there'll be a beggar to get off just to let you know people I'll be using this sort of oil needed to get this Pacific oil because it's got a DPF fitted so it needs C3 oil as recommended by Vauxhall and Hopel just a little bit of a trick for you guys if you're putting oil for one of these I always use a bit of tissue to save any overspill going on to the rocker cover and what we're doing now people is we're letting that let the oil fill, uh, fill up its oil for about 30 40 seconds in the meantime we're just checking for any leaks around the oil filter housing some plug just get onto the floor now that's completely sound and also on the dashboard we are looking for any oil pressure lights as well ignore the tpms sensors yeah, there's nothing on them. Just got to reset my sensors. Other than that. So that's all the oil changed. <clears throat> Excuse me. The oil reset. The oil service light is reset by the ECU. Just a little quick point is. Why should you change your oil? Firstly. Is to prolong your engine's life. Always change it every year. With a diesel, I recommend twice a year just for because it's oil, it goes dirty easily. And also, with oil, it also acts as a coolant for your engine as well as your water cooled side of things. <clears throat> I'd like to say thank you to all the new subscribers, anyway, and thank you for watching the video. Any questions? Comment below.